Hi guys, this is Shiva. Welcome to Trademark. In this session, we will understand a very important indicator that is moving average. What does moving average do? It helps us to identify the trend, trend of the stock and also moving average act as a support and resistance. Do you know? By using moving average indicator and made other indicators like MACD, Bullinger band. Yes, in Bullinger band also moving average were used. That means there is something in moving average. Let us see what it is. First, let us see how moving average calculations were done. For example, if I need 10 days moving average, then how it plot in chart? Let us see. Just assume this is day number 1. On day number 1, price close at 105. Wait, I will mark on chart. Then only we can understand very easily. This is x axis indicates price. This is y axis indicates days. In chart, where 105 comes, it comes here. Next, day 2, price close at 102. Next, 104. Next, 106. So on, so far. I will join the marks what I did. This is how price moves. Next, we need to add all these 10 days price. Next, how many days average we need? It is 10 days, right? So, we divided with 10. Then only we get answer. Then we get answer 109. 109 comes here. Next, we will take average from day 2 to still day 11th. As you notice, on day 11th, we ignore day 1. Day 1 value, right? Because we need 10 days average. So, on day 11th, we get answer 110. 110 points something. Okay. On 12th day, 112. On 13th day, 114. On 14th, 116. Basically, what we are doing? We are moving, moving forward, moving range. That is the reason why we call it as moving average. Okay. Let us join the marks. This is how moving average were calculated. This black line is price and this blue line is moving average. 10 days moving average. If I need 20 days moving average means just need to add 20 days and divided with 20. Then only we get answer. Okay. We do not want to do these calculations every time. If we need to calculate each and every time, it will take lot of time. The best thing is in every trading software, this moving average indicator available, available for freely. Okay. So far we understood what is moving average and how it is calculated. The question is, what is the point of all doing these calculations and what does moving average tells us? Let us see. Before knowing that, let us see how to apply moving average and I will tell which is the best moving average that works in the market and also I will tell which I follows. Okay, go to trading view software. In every trading software, this moving average will available. Next. In indicators, type moving average. Select, select moving average. In inputs, remove 9 and add 20 period means 20 moving average. I will change color black to blue, blue color. Now it looks like this price with 20 moving average. Some software shows SMA means simple moving average. MA and SMA both are same only, do not get confused. And when you watch in news or in any money control website, they write. DMA. What is this DMA? DMA means when simple moving average opens on daily time frame, then we call it as DMA. It is common sense. Okay. The best moving average I follow is 20 SMA, 20 simple moving average because it is mid band of the stock price and it fit to Fibonacci number nearest to 21. And I back tested for couple of years. Then only I started using this 20 SMA. Okay, as we know that in stock market, there are three types of trends, which is uptrend, downtrend and sideways trend. So, this 20 SMA gives clear picture of the trend, that is, this stock is in uptrend or downtrend or sideways trend. When 20 SMA average sloping up, it indicates uptrend. When 20 SMA sloping down, it indicates downtrend. When 20 moving average flat moving flat it indicates sideways trend this is the core purpose of using moving average 
Also, I said few minutes back, moving average will also act as support and resistance. Look this, price keeps on breaking 20 moving average, upside and downside. That means, is 20 moving average is not working? No, not like that. The price keeps on breaking 20 moving average means it says market is in sideways consolidation period. So, when sideways time, 20 moving average act as a mid band. This concept you will not find anywhere because it all comes from experience. These are very important basic knowledge. Basic knowledge is very important. Basic knowledge with discipline is very, very, very important. Most of the traders fail because not that they don't have knowledge. They will have bunch of knowledge, but they have zero discipline because of zero discipline. So, when market is in sideways, if you try to buy about 20 MA and if you try to short below 20 MA means it keeps on hitting your stop loss again and again. So, don't do such mistakes. When you know better, you will do better. Okay, I will share some screenshots. Look this, 20 moving average sloping up means price is in uptrend. Look this, price is moving up and down and dancing, giving jerks, but 20 moving average not dancing like price, it giving clear uptrend, clear uptrend signal, another uptrend. Next, 20 moving average sloping down means price is in downtrend. Another one, it clearly indicates downtrend. And remember this one, no indicator will work 100%. That's why we need to maintain strict stop loss. Stop loss is nothing but protecting our capital. I am keep on repeating such things because real power comes only when repeating action. Next, look this one, how 20 SMA act as a mid band, mid band to the price. Next one, look this clear sideways signal giving clear picture of the trend. Okay, I hope you get some clarity about moving average, also about 20 moving period. Okay, before end this episode, let me share one important thing. Some people use 9 MA to take entry and exit in intraday, 20 MA for short term, 50 MA for mid term, 100 and 200 MA for long term, long term purpose. They keep on changing moving average period. So, we don't want to mix up like that. We just need to use only 20 SMA for intraday, short term, mid term and long term. How? Let's see. We need to change time frame instead of changing moving average period. For intraday, we take 15 minutes and hourly time frame. For short term, for short term trend, we look 4 hours and daily time frame. For mid term, we look daily, daily and weekly chart. For long term, we need to look weekly and monthly time frame. And I will share one golden rule. In one hour time frame, 20 moving average slopes up. It's sign of uptrend for intraday. Next, we go to 15 minutes time frame. Wait for price to come important support level. Uh, support level like RSI 40, Fibonacci retracement level, 20 SMA support trend line support price with price confirmation like that then we need to take entry for intraday this is the higher time frame rules we need to check trend in higher time frame and take trade in lower time frame same for short term daily is higher time frame to check the trend on 4 hours time frame we will take entry same weekly is higher time frame daily is lower time frame to take entry for long term, monthly is higher time frame to check trend. Weekly is lower time frame to take entry. Okay, now you get full clarity that we don't need to change moving average period to look trend. We just need to change only time frame. I am not saying that this 9 MA, 50 MA and 100 and 200 MA will not work. But I always try to say keep it simple. Keep it simple to understand very quickly. Always we need to keep simple but it's very hard to believe in simple things so we don't want to make too complicated and confused we just need to keep it simple do you know the biggest superpower of professionals have that is 
their ability to keep it simple okay i hope you learned a very important technical oscillator with a very important techniques in this video keep on learning because there is no age limit for learning okay good to see you in next video jai hind